Why did they shoot him? That shit is heartbreaking as fuck. <laughs> Jacob Blake was at a rental property he wasn't supposed to be at. The mother of his children was letting him stay at a birthday party. So Jacob Blake, there was a felony sexual assault charge that was on him. He had a warrant for his arrest. So he already had a warrant for his arrest. And then there was some sort of domestic thing or some shit. A restraining order or some shit. Now, you know, he's at the rental place. He's got the keys to the rental place, and he won't give the keys to the rental place up because he's going to stay, right? Now, he ain't just staying for his, his son's birthday. He's still the man. He's still the husband. He's still the daddy. So Jacob Blake was on some bullshit. Jacob Blake was on some bullshit that day, and then immediately when she called the cops, he got real sober and started, you know, thinking a little bit differently, but still thinking, you know, Probably still heated and shit. Regardless. Regardless of all that. You got three police officers. You got the monopoly of violence. You got the Leviathan right there. You know, even a tiny speed cop can pull somebody over. Not because they're scary and intimidating, but because they got a badge. And they got the monopoly of violence. And they got the entire system that backs them. So you got three cops that's standing right there. None of them said, we're going to arrest you right then and there. He, you know, walks, goes to walk off. And when he goes to walk off, that's when you see that white police officer grab, you know, they follow him. And then he opens the door and, you know, there might have been a knife in his hand. There might have been a knife in the vehicle. He might have been reaching for it. He might have thrown it from his hand. So I'm not saying he, this is, a, this is, Jacob Blake is not a perfect victim. He's not a perfect victim. Where the person did absolutely nothing wrong. I mean, he's, you know, got that felony warrant. He's walking away from the police. Something to do with the knife. Who knows what he was thinking about doing. But that goddamn scene. That goddamn scene. They shoot him seven times in the back. So he gets into the vehicle. And the one white cop is pulling his shirt. And since, I guess, he didn't, you know, comply... You comply or die, right? Pow, 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 pow. The felony warrant, that wasn't, that's not why he died. Because he didn't comply. When If they, he would have just, you know, complied when he got arrested. If they said, okay, we're going to arrest you. And he says, okay. And he just, you know, walked away. Then he wouldn't have got shot, probably. But resisting... Resisting doesn't end in death. You should have grabbed both of your hands on them first. You pull the damn gun first, and then once you pull the damn gun, you pretty much put yourself in a corner to where you gotta shoot. So it's absolutely heartbreaking the way that they killed him. It was just so fucking, it wasn't brave, it wasn't heroic, it wasn't like an active shooter carrying on like a, you know, a crazy person. You had a person that tried to walk away from the situation, and you had somebody that tugged on his shirt and then shot him seven times in the back. How, why you gotta shoot a, a, a person seven times? Why you gotta shoot a man seven times in the back? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. He's reaching for the gun. 
I feel like shoot him once, twice, kind of see how, you know, he's handling the damn thing. And then why go for the gun first? He's walking away. If, you know, if there was any of the police officers that just was going to go grab him and arrest him, that would have prevented him from dying too. That would have prevented Jacob Blake from dying. So he's going to get murdered in front of his kids. You got that black woman who's rightfully hysterical. No, you just did not fucking do that. You just killed my fucking father right in fucking front of me. No, you fucking did not do that. So, you know, not only does the optics look, it's just, it's fucking gross. In the wild, wild west, you couldn't shoot somebody in the back. You shot him in the back? We'll put on handcuffs because you're going to jail. Now, you shot him in the back, right? The bullet hole went in the back and came out the front. Never came out the front, just lodged in the back, huh? Yeah, you shot him in the back. Put handcuffs on him. Put him in jail. You can you cannot shoot a man in, in the back. But that's back in the days of the Wild West when there was some sort of, you know, code de or de or whatever. So there was actually some sort of, you know, common law. People were on the same page. Yeah, so in the Wild Wild West, that uh, that police officer, those police officers would have been arrested automatically. Automatically. But this is America. And I don't even know what happened to them. The Kenosha protest was right in the sense that, fuck, you can't, you don't know how to peacefully arrest a, a person. He, he had a knife, he had a blade. He had a blade, so yeah, if you if you, you go to grab and he like tries to stab you, but he was walking away to get something, right? Then pulled on the shirt and just shot him in the back. Boom, 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 boom. That's not what I would think. When I think about police officer, they're the ones on the up and up. They're the professionals. Just shooting people in the back and shit. That's fucking, you know, that's some gangster stuff right there. That's some hood shit right there. So R.I.P. Jacob Blake.